Dave. Now, the Bay Area is no stranger to world-class athletes and sporting events, but there is one little-known competition that has been taking place each year for the past decade. It brings out some of the premier aquatic athletes in the world in a setting that is second to none. And best of all, it's an energy-filled chase with the finish line in a quiet little Bayside community. Who knew Belvedere Cove could be such a popular place on an early Sunday morning in the fall? But these are not weekend sightseers waiting to board the ferry to Angel Island. They are competitive swimmers about to embark on the Tiburon Mile. This is probably a stupid question, but is it really a mile? Uh, it, it's a Tiburon Mile, <laughs> which is a little less than a nautical mile. Actually, it's a little more than a nautical mile, which is 15% more than a mile. So about 1,800 and 67 meters. 1,867 meters from Angel Island to the marina at Tiburon. It's a race that's been going on 10 years strong. I'm really excited about that. You know, we've been working hard on this event all year, and uh, it's really finally coming together here. This uh, race started off back in uh, 1999. We had 188 swimmers, and it's grown to as much as 900 swimmers, so I'm really excited. I got together with a few good friends, my wife, uh, and we planned this out, and we were looking for a way to combine, bring the community together, raise money for charity, and create a world-class swim event, and it's really grown each year. I'm very pleased with it. And just like this, the race begins, where Mother Nature doesn't exactly provide the most comfortable conditions for an open water swim. Among the variables are the currents, the chop, and don't forget the chill. Well, today it's uh, quite flat, not too choppy, and the water temperature is okay for 20 minutes. <laughs> if it would be long, it would be a little bit too cold, but like this is just fine. The Tiburon Mile is truly an international event. There are swimmers here from more than 20 countries all over the world swimming with the Golden Gate as their backdrop. Oh, it's very big. I mean, it's it's probably the most prestigious open water swim of the world, you know. It's it's everyone comes from from all over the world to compete in this. It's, it's amazing. I mean, it's it's a great venue, great race. And that's why everyone comes to it every year. It's just it's it's an awesome city. You're really only out here for a couple days just for this race. Yes, I just uh, took a long weekend trip to come here. I get invited by Bob every year very nicely and um, I was here last year and I had a lot of fun, so I'm here back, back here. Well, I want this to be an event where world-class competitors say, this is the place I want to be in September and October. They see their friends, they know they're going to have great competition, but they know they're going to be able to hang loose and have a good time and hang out after the race as well. So I see it growing from that standpoint. I, it, it used to be I was calling competitors to get them involved, and now they're calling me. With the shore in sight, swimmers actually cross the finish line on their feet. Kane Radford was the male elite champion he hails from New Zealand. It felt amazing. I just really couldn't believe it. It still really hasn't completely sunk in because the competition, that field is just, it's one of the best in the world. There's a lot of great swimmers out there. And just to come out first, it, I can't really describe it. The first female to cross was Australian Melissa Gorman. It was a really tough competition out there today. I mean, the start's really tough with all the boys and everyone's kind of mixed in all together. Um, everyone had a good race, so really excited to come away with a win. You came out of the water and you knew you were first. How did that feel? Oh, it's an amazing feeling. I mean, $10,000 is a lot of money. So, um, yeah, it's definitely very exciting. With most of the participants just swimming for fun, $10,000 was the prize to the top finishers in each gender. Although completing this nautical mile in about 20 minutes did not give the pace setters much time to enjoy the sights. Now, did you catch a glimpse of the Golden Gate out there? I I didn't I broke to the other side, so... Didn't have time, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> couldn't really see it. It would have been great to see it, though, but next time, maybe. But a pretty scenic backdrop for this event. Yeah, it's definitely a great, great scenery, great place to have this race.